This is the ITEL S17, an entry level device from ITEL, priced at 40,000 naira or $80 equivalent. This is on the entry level side of it with the all new gorgeous look and some ungone no men. In short, the specifications here are just unknown to me. ITEL. There is God. Here are some reasons why you shouldn't buy the ITEL S17. What's up, guys? It is Derek. Welcome back to my channel and without wasting much of your time, grab your popcorn, relax and let's get started. First of all, let's see what's inside the box. You get a pack containing a transparent plastic case, a SIM ejection tool and some paperwork. You also get the device, a micro USB charging cable, a charging brick and also an earpiece. The ITEL S17 is built with a plastic material on the back and the frame. The back has this circular brush finish that feels premium and doesn't allow fingerprints. On the back is a tripe camera setup, housing an 8 megapixel main, unknown micro lens and another unknown depth sensor which is a 0.3 megapixel with a quad LED flash. You will also get a fingerprint sensor at the back and also the ITEL branding below. Beneath the device is a micro USB port which serves as the charging port, the speaker grills, a mic for call and a 3.5mm earphone jack. This device feels light in hand despite having a 5000mAh battery. It weighs 191 gram. This phone has a 6.6 inch HD plus LCD panel with a resolution of 1600 by 720p which is clear and sharp for a device at this price range. At the top of this device is a water drop notch housing a single camera which is an 8 megapixel camera which also during the course of this video we will dive into that later on. It has this huge chain beneath it which I am not a fan of but I don't see myself complaining about it since it's an entry level device at a very budget price. Let's get over to the specs here. The ITEL S17 comes with an unknown gunman processor which is a quad core SOC spread through SC7731E. It is a 32 nanometer chipset which is clocked at 1.3 GHz and this GPU is the Mali D820 MP1. It runs on Android 10 Go Edition and the ITEL in-house OS 7.0. With the processor and the software which is a Go Edition of Android, the performance I got from this device was ok by just making calls, receiving calls, texting and solving the web. But having such a number from the specs, you don't need to expect much from an entry level device like this. This device only supports 3G networks so don't expect fast download and upload speed. It also comes with Bluetooth 4.0, face unlock feature and a fingerprint scanner for security. It comes with 1 gig RAM with 16 gig of internal storage. Hmm, 16 gig and 1 gig RAM. Could this be the actual reason? We will see about that before the end of this video. The ITEL S17 also comes with a 5000mAh battery which lasts well. The camera on the i 17 is somehow good but not bad for the price of this device. Don't get me wrong, this is not a camera phone or a gaming device, but for someone getting this device, probably you need something as a second device for basic use such as making calls and sending messages. It has this triple camera setup at the bar which is an 8 megapixel main, a funny 0.3 megapixel depth and another macro lens with a quad LED flash while at the front is an 8 megapixel camera whose pictures are ok. My conclusion is just simple because the ITEL S17 is for those who doesn't want to spend that much for a device but want something that could do their basic tasks such as making calls, sending messages and general web serving. It's obvious that all this mentioned above doesn't need much processing power to carry out the tasks or that much of a fast network to do them so the 3G network and the 1GB RAM will greatly do the job well. That is that for this video. Let me know in the comment section who you did get this device for or who this device is meant for. Also smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Or even if you don't, please just subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.